I, oh, I, I don't know, man. We're looking to... at the Epic, Epic Store here. Pros, free games, cons, everything else. Everything else. Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, you know it. Whatever the hell else. We come up with I'm Ben. That is Jordan Quang. <laughs> And Pedro Mateus, together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, hanging out with the pre-show. We've been probably about an hour in that, but Mormon cocaine Voltron. <laughs> we, we've, been, we, we've been we've been pre-gaming, all right. <laughs> a little bit of pre-gaming. We might have been talking about walkie-talkies falling out of cats' buttholes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. That's it. I, I mean, I I want to see that cut of the film yeah. myself. Snyder ain't got nothing if you let us. <laughs> yeah, get a hold of your Ser- film. seriously. That that is that is the real version of Justice League where there are cats. With walkie talkies coming out of their butts. <laughs> Release the butthole cut of Justice League, damn it. Damn you, Zack Snyder. <laughs> Tune in live, or hey, if you're a patron, you get a, that tomorrow morning in podcast format if you want to go back and listen to it. We wouldn't mind it. What's up? What's new? I've been playing around, man, with vintage retro hardware all uh, this week. Trying to get uh, Firewire audio interfaces working with Pipewire. Because I was kind of curious. Somebody in our forums uh, over on Interfacing Linux asked, and... Uh, like, hey, man, how's this work? I'm like, I don't know. And one thing I never do, or I do my best to never do, is to just offer theory. Hang on. Let me go find out. So I spent a week. I took the test bench. I put Pipewire on it. I put Debian testing on it. It's got the latest version of Pipewire. Plugging it in, plugging it out, and finding what worked, what didn't work. If you want to find out the results of that, uh, head over to Interfacing Linux. Made a little video about it wrote down all my findings. And uh, one of the reasons I did it is because the developer of uh, Pipewire, if you follow me on Twitter, he's like, I don't have a Firewire interface. I'm like, yeah, I know. (laughs) (laughs) Here's what works and here's what doesn't. And uh, have fun with it. But if you're going to be over there, help out old Truggy. Truggy's in the forums. He's thinking about building a mid-range Linux gaming PC. He would like your feedback. So if you want to help out an old timer, old uh viewer of our show for a long time he's he's got he's got a new baby so he doesn't have the brain space to, that's what he said he's like dude, a kid, uh, he's like computer, i've been yeah. out of all the stuff for the past couple of years man i don't even know where to go so mm-hmm. if you got some advice our theorems in there helping him out and uh i'm sure everybody's got a nice little hot take on it mr quang what have you been up when's the last time somebody like straight up just called you quang <laughs> Um, my, oh my. myself and quite frequently because oh, really? yeah, I was, I always call myself Jordan Quang. I used Quang. to hate, I used to, I used to hate it as a child, but now it's just like, I think it's kind of funny because it, it, it is, it is the giveaway, right? Like if someone calls me Quang, they don't know who I am. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think like if I saw that on like a name sheet and uh, oh yeah, another thing. Okay. Cause we were talking about that. One of the things we talked about during uh, the doctor who recap, all the three tenants and the new doctor who. That is out. That's up for patrons. There you go. Oh, hey, nice. Yeah, we're done with all the ads and all that. But one thing we brought up during that show was like, how do we pronounce the new doctor's name? And I, I, we yeah. didn't ever get 100% on it. I think we're yeah. close enough to where we're like, okay. But when you see something written down like that, that's what I'm thinking about. And like, if I saw CWANG, my brain would go, there's no way I can get away with pronouncing that quang. Well, <laughs> and, so the, my, my, my two funny stories about that are like, and I think I've told this one on stream before. Uh, number one, I got hired at a, at a garage in a very, very low ceilinged area because someone saw my last name and assumed that I was an Asian man when I applied for the job. Uh, and they told me as much when I showed up, uh, <laughs> they're like, Oh, Quang, right? I'm like, yeah. Like, wait, aren't you an Asian guy? I'm like, no, no, I'm six one old <laughs> me. Um, so I, I quit that job because I had to be hunched over all the time. But you did yeah, like look him dead in the eye and go, yes. Oh man. I probably, you know what? If. <laughs> If I were a little older and a little wiser, I probably could have. I probably would have just like fucked and with him. He posed there, to a certain dominance. And, yeah. There was <laughs> there was one receptionist in Finland who got it right on the first try, and I was just astounded. She <laughs> looked at my name and she's like, "Mr. Tsvung? I'm like, "What the fuck? Who are you? Which?" <laughs> I I would have think it would be like Swang, uh, Swang or Kwang. I, yeah, there's. I, I wouldn't go with Quang though. No. Yeah. Well, and, and so there, 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 were, there was like a, there was like a mix up where we had to like track down my dad's old birth certificate or something. Okay. And what's even more fucked up is on that it's spelled with a V. It's C V A N G. Svang. 
Yeah. So, I don't even know where the W came from. Do you, do you got some German heritage? I don't know about that. A little, I mean, a little bit. Like, obviously, it's a German word, right? Right. Like, it's like, did that get uh, like mixed up at immigration? I, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, hmm. It is is forever the mystery of the Zwang. Yes, the, see, the, see, the smart, see, Zwang of ours. Secrets of the Zwang on ABC on the History Channel with what's his name, the fucking aliens guy. I, I, oh I no, 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 we're, we're gonna resurrect that. What was this guy? Unsolved Mysteries, the guy with the yeah. trench coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, just get Jonathan Frakes to be like, "You're wrong. We made it up. A writer made it up the entire time." That'll work. Pedro Mateus, show us your laptop. Uh, laptop. I have uh, a laptop and a tablet. All right, never mind. <laughs> this one runs Haiku. It's a ThinkPad X two forty. <laughs> That sentence should have been a haiku. You failed. Damn it. I know. We tried. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, I've been uh, playing around with haiku on a laptop, which back in its day would have cost $2,000 in that particular configuration with a 512 uh, SSD and $2,000 has screen. been like the price for an aspirational laptop since like 1980, whatever the first fucking laptop came out, hasn't it? You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's like the peak of yeah you're like whatever the one that you want or, <laughs> yeah. or aspire to have has always been about two grand <laughs> like, yeah mean, but, but these, these days though like you can get a super kitted out laptop oh, you they're can, like five thousand you know, yeah, dollars they're yeah, like what the f- yeah jordan the two thousand dollar one's so much better well, it, <laughs> well what what it is is you know if you want to go from eight gigs of ram to 32 gigs of ram that's obviously five hundred dollars shut up because Apple. the yeah, no, uh, Lenovo, oh, Lenovo, that, okay. that, they're, they're, Lenovo and Dell are super guilty about marking up memory. Mm. You're better off, you're like, you're it's better off just buying, Apple, yeah, yeah, you're better <laughs> off buying a computer with the minimum amount of RAM possible and the cheapest hard drive and just like the cheapest mechanical and hard drive. checking the specs replacing. that it, you, there's something yeah. to upgrade. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. You, you but, have to no. make sure you can upgrade. <laughs> yes. Um, well, the, see that 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 one for sure. Apple, no, the, that, that Apple, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. The, the NVMe SSDs aren't even NVMe SSDs. They're just NVMe storage without yeah, a controller. Only way you're going to be upgrading, yeah, because like, yeah, the controller's on device. M1. Yeah, with like, yeah. dude, unless that dude who like just solders RAM on GPUs for fun gets a hold of one, right? Yeah, right. The, yeah. But the, the 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 guy who made the 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 sixteen gigabyte thirty sixty or something, or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you the thirty two gigabyte Steam Deck as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What have you been playing, Pedro? I have been playing um, New World, yeah. the you know the other Amazon MMO. Does there's that? How do you arc. run that? Is it on Steam? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, it hasn't lit the, your computer on fire yet? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Surprisingly, my uh, sixty-seven hundred XT it can't do twenty-five sixty by fourteen forty at one hundred and forty-four FPS. Boo. But it can do 60 all night long at like 70% GPU utilization. So the fans are a lot quieter if you just, I just lock the frame rate to 60. So it's actually been really good. I did find a bug with it, uh, with Pipewire. It keeps doing buffer overruns. And every time it does it, even if it's multiple times a second, it puts an entry in journal CTL. So it turns journal CTL into a fucking mess. Why don't you just disable <laughs> all logging like a normal person? <laughs> You can, you can also filter stuff out of journal CTL as yes. well. Uh, I had to find out how to filter out specific things like the buffer overrun calls from Pipewire. How do I filter? Ah, there we go. Done. You, you, know, you know what's great about journal CTL? It has the dash dash since yesterday flag, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Or like, the dash yeah. B zero for the current boot or dash B minus one for the previous yeah. boot. It's I, I, awesome. don't, I, I don't. I don't get why people are mad about it. Like, I, I remember, like, do we really need a new log thing? And it's like, oh, this one's like actually better than syslog. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Pedro, how do you change your? Uh, do you ever do you change your sample rate? Uh, no, it's just set at forty eight. Forty eight. Yeah. <laughs> I never played around with Bypire really until this week, and I'm like, so that's just not a thing. I got a bash script to do it. Uh. There's yeah, there's a config file you can set, but oh that, no, but I need to be able to do it on the fly because I'm right. bouncing around and I'm like yeah, all right, and uh, yeah, that's mysteriously missing. Anyway, we're never gonna get our horse above forty eight k anyway, so it's not. It's kind of a moot point, isn't it? I mean, the fu- the horse doesn't even have firewire. You connect to it via a wet string and a tin can. It's the steam. 
Well, it's out, sort of, kind of. And by it, I don't mean SteamOS. I mean Hollow ISO, Immutable Edition. They're done, supposedly. Uh, this is they, they, they are confident enough in it being a standalone application that they are announcing that it is available as a daily driver. And as such, they're shutting down the mutable version of their operating system and moving purely to the immutable version. Um, what does has this it mean? Has been immuted? It does. It has. <laughs> it, it means that everything runs a la Silver Blue, uh, where if you make changes, uh, they will get erased when you reboot or steam uh, os proper yes yeah or, or steam os proper um but uh the the other speaking of steam os proper it is no longer using its own upstream everything is now being pulled from the steam os pac-man repositories so this is as close to desktop steam os as realistically you're going to get until valve releases it proper um yeah so it con- congrats on the release they've archived the old immutable or the old mutable one and yeah, uh, they, oh, they do say uh, if you want to upgrade, they do recommend a clean install. They're working on a, a, a path to go from uh, mutable to immutable, but they're not. They're, they straight up say like, we're not going to guarantee any of this shit will work afterwards. Just do a clean install. Also, yeah. if you get an NVIDIA card, get wrecked. <laughs> it, this is pretty much just SteamOS as it is on the Steam Deck. Pulled out, remove the uh, deck checks and make sure that it runs on whatever you try to install it. We've seen how that goes, mainstream media. Uh, but it wasn't even mainstream media. Who was it? XDA? <laughs> Someone at XDA that tried to that's, run. That's, that's basically mainstream I don't know, media now, at now, this now, point. Now I'm just thinking about like Pedro like watching something. He's like, that's just what the mainstream media wants you to believe, <laughs> man. But yeah, no, like XDA, an XDA article writer that tried to run Holo ISO as a desktop distro. Yep. <sighs> Yeah, and talk about Linux gaming. I'm like, are you, you, you have, we're sitting here just gassed at a flabber. Like, are you being stupid on purpose here? Like, so much so that uh, the editor in chief right. had to go in and cut out that entire chunk of the articles. Like, nope, never happened. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I very much agree with their move to separate repos to, you know, put a, solid cleave in between the two distros like no this is the point where it branches out proper yeah. and i because the i neo light that the one that's coming supposedly with hollow iso didn't, I, didn't, they, didn't they walk that back didn't, didn't they say it's gonna run windows now there people were upset about that no i thought they said it was gonna run steam os it was gonna like, run steam os no no originally. no what, what we meant <laughs> when we said it was running steam os is that it mm-hmm. wasn't and it was gonna be running hollow I right think. and 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 then I remember a third one a, a third story and this may this may be completely made up I may, I may have just completely made this up there there is a third one where they're like actually no it's just gonna run Windows we're sorry you we don't we, yeah right yeah, <laughs> who, I, I, <laughs> to what Pedro said like we'll know when we get it right yes yeah. so th- I am curious to see if at all this is motivated by that or if this is going to uh, oh. impact that in any way shape or form North Ranger has my back <laughs> oh shit yeah. <laughs> Oh, for, is it okay? So they've just given up on that. Okay, cool. All right. Well, shit. That was short lived, man. <laughs> right? right? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, the Ionial uh, next light will just come with Windows 11 pre installed. So, yeah. Well, look forward to you, another uh, Windows shitbox gaming experience. Uh, yep. Poor guys and gals. So, what do you think about this, though, Pedro? Uh, I'm sure you heard the rumors that Sony is uh, allegedly making an AMD powered X86 uh, gaming handheld. Mm, that, makes, that, that doesn't that require makes a, a Wi Fi connection. <laughs> yeah, that makes a hell of a lot more sense than the portal. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, they're sitting around going, well, we already made this shell. Hmm. <laughs> what if we put some guts in it? Yeah, it's like everyone shat on the portal because. Let's be honest, uh, it, it's, it's releasing a, Wii, a Wii U for your PS5 was not a very good idea, Sony. <laughs> well, at, at least not if you're not going to have some games that can do asymmetrical There's shit. something like, on it, right? Yeah, um, like if, if they did like a, if they did like a um, little big planet with like where you can like have someone like be the dungeon master and like add obstacles as the other people do shit like yeah. you, can, you can do shit like that. That's kind of fun. But yeah, I mean, Sony, how many handhelds has Sony attempted to like make? Two? The PSP, three? Three? the PSP Go, the PS Vita, three. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, I think that's yeah. it. Yeah, the three. Because like, there they, was they, a variant between there was a the original fat PSP and there was the PSP Lite 
But they, okay, but that was like the, that was the same thing though. That was like Gentlemen, Game Boy to Game Boy Pocket. Just so we don't get too far off topic, though, we we gotta go ahead and put our bets down. Yay or nay on will Sony try to introduce a proprietary something memory Please. for this thing? Oh, I I, I mean I mean it's it, it's it's probably like two thirds yes, one third no you, you in know, terms of like we had like yeah. the what was it the what were the little uh, purple the, memory yeah cards? the little me- the little memory module oh yeah memory, there's memory, the memory stick, stick memory stick and, UMDs. And, <laughs> memory stick yeah, memory stick duo, UMDs, memory and, stick pro duo. Oh yeah, and then they then they had the new ones that were like not SD cards; they were their own separate thing. Mm. The the the, I, the the last the last PS Vita that had its own like memory card format too. Mm-hmm. We look forward uh, to it. I I think they're just going to use. Uh, they're not even going to offer people the option to have external storage. It's just going to be a lockdown thing for. Well, the I, games I, I, if they do it. No, 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 and, no Pedro, I mean, you can the, get it if you have the PlayStation Pro subscription. Right. Well, and then you, and then can, you just can just use stream your, your games. Storage. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, if it you just, want to it, use the joysticks, however, no, that's no. Good. Like it, it has a USB port at the top, and you just like cram a a, a thumb drive into it, right? Like, mm-hmm. that's, nah, that's dude, it's ex- ex- external ultra scuzzy too. Don't worry. About oh no, it. It, it's just like floppy disks. You just gotta like in, inter floppy one of seven. Oh my god, they that had, would sell so uh, many if you made a, if you made a fucking gaming console with a functioning floppy disk in it where people could load it to play games. You could not make enough of them. They would hipster see, the see, hell out of that. Oh, oh, see, pay, you remember the, like the, the Sony Mavicas? It was mm-hmm. like that with a gaming controller that, that, on it. Dude. That, them's no, the cameras, no. yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is the monkey's paw for Pedro. Is that Bloodborne PC comes out, but it comes in like three thousand floppy disks. <laughs> I would spend the time necessary to create a single image out of all those. <laughs> no, no, here it is. Here it is. Oh, oh, huh. No, never mind. That wouldn't work. Damn it. I was going to say, what if they discovered the Bloodboard 3 and the only build was an untested one for the PS2? I'm like, oh, you can stimulate it. <laughs> oh, yeah. PS2 is easy mode. That shit runs on a Raspberry right, Pi. Right, right. That, without, that wouldn't even without, be challenging. Like, yeah. Speaking of PS2, though, ladies and gentlemen, are you down with VGS VB? Jet Boy Jet Girl? It, it, no. Is that um, <laughs> an STD? You know what? You could have. It's worse than that. No, I'm talking <laughs> about Virtual Girl Save Virtual Boy. And look at these PS2 era graphics, baby. Mm, that's mm, PS. Mm. That's PS3. I'll 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 give them that. That's much. early PS3. Maybe, yeah. maybe <laughs> not, not too much with the uh, lighting and all that. It's nice and grainy, even if you're watching it directly on the Steam store. By the way, we're going to talk about a couple of new games coming out, or it came out this week. This uh, came out right at the end of last month on the 25th, and uh, it got my attention. It did. Not only is there a Linux version, but I scrolled down to the asking price of this and <laughs> immediately thought to myself, what in the cinnamon toast money laundering is this shit? Because this is $199.99. So what is it about? Hidden object adventure game. The player needs to run around the location and look for objects out of secret places, climbing into them along walls and ledges. That's it. That's all we got. That's all we got. Mature What's content the, description. The, the, Let's check those reviews, though. Hang uh, on. We, we, yeah, we have 10 copy reviews. Paste, copy, paste. We have 10, not, 10 <laughs> gentlemen, 10 reviews, all positive. So that is legitimately uh, $1,999.9 <laughs> worth of positive reviews right here. Uh, yeah, single set. It's very positive. I uh, really like the models of the characters. Don't know if it was worth the money, but I'm into it. Uh, it went somewhere. Didn't find anything or anyone. I'll try later. Uh yeah, well, what the hell is this? Like, how? Ex- ex- explain this, Pedro. You 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 have an explanation of sorts. You have I have at least. a yes, I have a conjecture that there is a market that resells uh, Steam accounts, Steam libraries, and this kind of bullshit is exactly the kind of game that you would use to inflate the price of that Steam account. Because if you're then telling people, no, no, you can check the value of that Steam account by going to SteamDB and do it using the Steam calculator, the profile is public, and all of a sudden that account is now worth two hundred dollars more. Hmm. <laughs> and if you, this isn't the first one that we've seen, Jordan, There's... if we ever have to fall into a life of crime, Pedro gets to be the ringleader because I've never come up with that shit. Well, and, <laughs> like, see, my, my my brain went to something more basic as like. It's constantly on sale. So yeah, people but are like, oh, not. 
Well, well, it, right now, right now, right now, it is on sale, and you can get it and several other games for the price of a normal game. That's the thing. Of five it's the ago. bundle, though, which yeah, is yeah. five hundred dollars for the bundle, or uh, yeah, it's ninety ninety percent off. So, it's, oh, gee, okay, hang on, I, we yeah, it's eleven thousand yeah. pounds or yeah, ten thousand five hundred ninety nine dollars, <laughs> yeah. uh, ninety five percent off. So, yeah, for thirteen thousand five hundred ninety nine dollars, yeah. yeah. like. <laughs> What, no, that's uh, what the thing. Deal. If you go I'll to Steam, 12. if you go to Steam and you start by you know price of new games, you get the actual bundles, and then the ones that aren't bundles, you have the Ascent and the Leverage game, which are the most notorious examples of this kind of stupidly overpriced bullshit game that doesn't do anything other than inflate the price of your Steam library because you want to resell it. That's the only logical explanation I can think of. But you can't resell it. It's illegal. <laughs> so was uh, reselling CSGO skins, and here we are. <laughs> yeah. Well, What's up you, next? Lumberjacking ain't easy, baby. L- lum- Lumberjacking <laughs> is hard for an average Canadian m- logger, Miles. Yeah, so this is Gates of the Mind, which is about a lumberjack, and he, he gets hit by a tree, and he gets sucked into a dream. And he has to escape the dream with uh, Look at very that tree sneaking up on him. Oh yeah, that tree. <laughs> All right, you know he got pushed off by a bear. That's right. Nope, that's true. I, I, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, question yeah. how shit works in Canada. You live there. Shut you up, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's a tree in Canada. Yeah. All right, I, dude. I, I don't know. For some reason, I remember him like having a tree fall on his head. But no, I, clearly the trailer has him being pushed off the thing by a bear. I don't know. I made that shit up. Whatever. It happens. <laughs> I do a lot of drugs. Leave me alone. Uh, but so does, so does Miles, and having been trapped in this mental hellscape, he needs to escape with his super floaty jump. You'd think by the trailer, like, oh, the, that animation looks pretty good. But in, in the game, oh yeah, it, 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 it's floaty, and it goes, Bleh. And also, these Lovecraft monsters look like they're out of an entirely different game in, altogether, right? They, there's, they, there's they, a bit of, they, they're a at least in the same match. theme. Like, the color is right. Yes. Yeah, the monsters are all from the same asset pack, yes. Yes, I mean, the, I mean, they match. They match the environment, though, because I don't they, want to be thinking they, like, they, yeah, yeah. They, uh, so yeah, I looked at this, so I decided to go ahead and, and give it a try. Why? Because you know what? Kudos, kudos. You put out a demo, mm-hmm. and you had a Linux demo, and it wasn't an empty depot. <laughs> so I downloaded it. I played around with it, and you know, my feels on this is like, as soon as you get into the game, you start moving around. You're like, well, you're you're attempting to animate. Mr. Stiffy Lumberjack Boy. But hey, you know what? We just need more Lumberjack representation in video games. And this is there. If you got Ubuntu 12, you can hook it up yourself. But here, here's the uh, Jordan Mutter. Uh, no, that's the next game. We got to finish this one out. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, well, well I, I mean, th- th- this, this one also, when, so, uh, there, there's like weird Dark Souls combat because it uses like the shoulder buttons mm-hmm. for for um, attacking for for, for attacking and mm-hmm. yeah at, yeah and and B for jump and also when you die it says you death you death <laughs> no it is very much pulling the uh, souls like because when you see the character die and being dragged off by the monster it leaves its souls behind <laughs> but there's no yeah, after, soul. after after you right. death. Yes. Dude. So clearly they're going for the one hit KO right Yeah, whatever. Canadians thing. can dodge roll. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, I can. I I honestly I, I, I can safely say I don't care about the lumberjack on this one. I played around with it, man. Uh yeah, that jump uh, that noise that the dude makes, like Doom Guy ain't got nothing. Like I will listen to whoa, 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 all day long in like two minutes of that. I'm like, but hey, <laughs> At least you got a demo. Good on you. And uh, go try it out. See if you like it. It uh, has nothing to this technical marvel that is uh, Assault Wing, though. Yeah. <laughs> this game was impressive. And I mean that. I truly mean and This is old school, man. 2D side-scrolling PvP shooter. Right? Online it, PvP. <sighs> it, it's, it's multiplayer retro booster, right? It's completely free. 16-player battles. So, you know, I had to download this and give it a try. It's got space shovels. How can you turn that down? Clearly a very impressive title. Maybe for the wrong reasons, though, gentlemen, because it does take a little bit of special sauce to disable my right fucking monitor and leave it like that. Off. Deceased. 
not on. And, <laughs> and is an extra fuck you after you've opened up control panel, re enable the monitor, and click apply, and you're like, all right, we're good. Then you go to watch a video and you're like, what, what's this V sync tearing? It also managed to disable full composite pipeline. I don't even know how you did that. I'm more impressed. I'm not even angry at that. I'm like, I don't know how you pulled that off. Uh, Makes a bunch of like random R and R calls or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, on, on and you know you you think maybe this is an Nvidia problem? No, on the seventy eight hundred XT does the exact same shit. I had to shut up. I had to kill the process from a terminal, shut off my monitor, and turn it back on for it to get picked up again. Because yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck oh, you did, we, but it's Jordan, like Jordan, we fucked up. See, it doesn't even uh, recommend using a monitor. Right, yeah, uh, yeah. That, my, 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 my you're just supposed got... to run it. <laughs> See, you're we, just yeah, supposed my, to run it. We on need your to hard drive. shut our whore That's mouths right. because <laughs> no monitor was ever. We were using yeah. the game wrong. We should have just. My, 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 my accession got fucking zorped to the shadow realm, man. Like I don't know. Um, I. I can see how that happened because they probably only tested on the Steam Deck, and the Steam Deck just runs everything through GameScope, so. That's not a problem because the only thing, if you're running something through GameScope, the only thing, the only render surface the game sees is the GameScope sur surface. So, yeah, <laughs> I can see how that happened. That said, uh, Stud Farm Studios is a damn good developer name. Good job. <laughs> I'm not against it. Uh, we're going to see more and more stuff like that uh, to the point where uh, Valve needs it's going to have to put a bow on it like steam deck you know designed for steam deck or something not start the shipping steam scope as Give, part of steam yeah yeah exactly what i was going to suggest it doesn't Just work with my matrix tick box. Card. <laughs> give a tick box and the properties when you when you're on the desktop client go run this with game scope there <laughs> or just do what most of us are going to do when you hit that problem you just smash that proton button at this point man you're like I mean, yeah, that, that uses its own full screen hack, or you could use Gamescope for that too. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if I run into crap like that, I'm like, I'll just run the Windows version. It'll run fine because it's or actually will it, been or tested. Will it. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Sometimes it's usually a safer bet, you know, that it's easier yeah. to, like, there's a higher chance that it's going to run emulating and uh, pulling API calls from a different operating system than it is to the motherfucker actually testing it on a Linux well, machine before Well, because someone it. actually tested those API calls on a Windows machine, so yeah, at right. least, like, they're there, right? I'm but, saying there's yeah. a chance. <laughs> uh, all right. So, a couple of games up updates. Uh, Livet posted this one in Discord earlier this week, and we all had a Lagasp moment. Yes. <laughs> because Microsoft, you may know them, uh, you know... <laughs> Traditionally, very proprietary, very unfriendly towards the Linux side, but hey, Microsoft hearts Linux now. Oh, I didn't so, get the mouse all the uh, way off the screen. Now it's really on the fucking screen because I'm over here playing with it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pick, pick his nose. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, you may have heard of the Age of Empires. You may have heard that there's more than Age of Empires 2. Yes, stop playing Age of Empires 2. There's more of them. <laughs> But Age of Empires 4, there's a new patch out. Uh, it came out a few days ago. They don't have a date in the page. Which, are, are you? you, know, are you what? <laughs> I wonder when it came out. Yeah. What date's that? I don't know. <laughs> September 2nd, 628. That was yes, a very good year. Bitch, I don't read star date. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, no. The important thing here is very much the... Um, the one mention of the Steam Deck because they actually do specify the Steam Deck. There was an issue causing desyncs on Steam Decks when playing online, and having Microsoft acknowledge the Linux console directly in one of their game updates that feels nice. That feels real nice. <laughs> I don't. Age, Age of Empires is like real time strategy, right? When I when I think yes. of RTS, I don't really think of that and Steam Deck, but it's it's nice to see the fix, I suppose. Um, and I, I mean, like, yeah, we we've seen some fixes with like Flight Simulator as well. I I don't th I don't think Microsoft has any ideological opposition as long as you're buying their products and giving them money. They don't care where you're running their shit now. Yeah, the new Microsoft just wants your money. Uh, yeah, but mm -hmm. then again, they didn't use the L word, so I don't know if it's really counts. But hey, I'm I'm glad it, I'm glad it's. <laughs> fix what do we think about the uh the starcraft and the uh no uh, the people from blizzard that they have that new uh rts that just launched on kickstarter they're like hey we're making a little rts and everybody's like like warhammer type style and they're like okay 
here's $2 million all of a sudden because everybody wanted to play it. <laughs> well, I, I, I think this is the closest we're going to get to like what Warcraft 4. Well, or like a new Starcraft, right? Yeah. 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 But, I mean, did it, the Microsoft did shit can 1,700 people from Activision Blizzard, so there's that. <laughs> uh, there, well, there's clearly they make a lot of money it, and hire some people back. Yeah. Right. Well, it, it, was, it was the same thing with, uh, with like, uh, isometric RPGs, right? With, like, uh, Baldur's Gate and Pillars of Eternity and stuff. Like, there's clearly demand for it. No one's really making real-time strategy anymore. Like, there, there's, there's stuff in indie space. There's, um, there's stuff like uh, Age of Empires, but those are, like, long-standing series. There's not really anything new coming out in that's in that space so yeah yeah warcraft and starcraft that's uh yeah they're, no, they're, these are the people that got shit can and go okay we're not under the purview of uh act oblivion anymore we can make games now so they wanted a hundred thousand oh. dollars to uh, stick this guy together and uh a little, little over two mil mm -hmm. all right <laughs> that might be good that might be all right what's this thing gonna come out oh, in february wait what Estimated delivery 2024. Oh, maybe. I guess it's done. <laughs> okay. Then oh, maybe, wait, oh maybe. wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's the dollar supporter. That's for pledging your support. So, like. All right. Okay. You, 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 get, the you get the thank you email. In oh, February. July. Yeah. So, I think they might have started on this a little sooner than uh, mm -hmm. the Pedro timeline yeah. here. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, but that, and that's, that's for beta access as well. So, like, you're, 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 you're going to be getting, like, the early Frost access. Frost Giant shit. Studios. Burr. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. I always wonder about stuff like this because sometimes it works really good. Sometimes it doesn't because uh, a lot of times you'll see like they'll, they'll bring the technical know-how to make a game like this, but, but not they, the producers that kept right. them in check, <laughs> but, but like, here's the thing. These are Activision and Blizzard producers. So I don't really know how good a job they were actually doing when their one strategy is crushed. It, it might bring so. people back. Listen, people are going to play this because you know, that's the type of game they want. You know, I saw somebody complaining like, oh, I can't believe they're just making another art. Or whatever like that's why they're making the money though because like yes. nobody's serving that market to what you said Baldur's gate like it was like ah oh, it's gonna be some little niche game like pff, game of the year no. bitch yeah everyone people, really people wanted want a proper rpg mm -hmm. a proper crpg modern one cause... what people actually want those <laughs> games versus what the marketing department is spending millions upon millions in adverts and subversive yeah, telling, shit telling, telling you want. trying yes. to give the appearance of what people want completely different things and shit like this just shows it for what it is, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we well, I mean, we were talking about that with like the, the VC story last week, right? Mm -hmm. Like these people are coming in. We know what people want. Well, you know, the game are we were going direct to market and they're telling us, yeah, we want to play this game. So no, maybe no, no, we should, no, no, no. We should the, make the, it for them. The, the children crave microtransactions and season. The children houses. yearn for the mines. <laughs> All right. Skins. Uh, how about cloud save? Oh, yes. Cloud saves for a game, which originally came out in 1996 it's still running it's still the same code base it's still the same developer still making vengers a thing yes that weird ass game with its own dictionary of uh everything because that when it first came out it vengers wasn't like anything it was it's a driving game technically uh, and it has some weird, really weird imagery, and you're not entirely sure what's actually happening, but yeah. Well, it's this type of shit, yeah, it's all that claymation. That's what <laughs> blew it up back in the day, because yeah. we had that, uh, you know, there, there was a moment there where we had a couple of different claymation well, games on uh, the PC. Uh, another world and like shit like that. Right. Um, yeah. And, uh, Avengers kind of, it, it's very much. It falls very much into the cult classic thing, and it's still getting updates. The latest one is from January 26, uh, 2024, and it's like, hey, Avengers, important announcement. Please read till the end. Uh, starting February 1st, we will enable cloud saves. This will enable automatic save file transfers between all your Steam-connected devices. However, if you are playing the game on different devices and have separate set of save files, Steam will ask you to choose between those sets you cannot have both because, yeah, it's the Steam Cloud. It's just going to sync your saves. So if you have a specific save on your Steam Deck and you don't want to, that to get overwritten, make sure you back it up. They do give you a couple of options. It's like, first one is copy the, uh, the save games to a safe place. Number two, disable Steam Cloud save synchronization everywhere. Bold fucking statement there, Cotton. And number three, turn off cloud saves for Avengers specifically. 
Just wait, like wait, a- all I'm hearing is the second one wouldn't work. <laughs> The the second one would work. Oh, okay. It, it would just straight up disable cloud saves for everything. So so it would work with the Thor tie. I got it. <laughs> I I gotta wonder though. For this 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 is almost like uh what a twenty thirty year old game now. Uh, how many people of them are or how many people who are like longtime players of this are just manually synchronizing their saves? Right? You never like, know. I mean, somebody might. Uh, my first thought was like, yes, let's go ahead and math that out. Uh, yeah, it's twenty six years since release, and like yeah. yeah I, but there's probably what? nobody like super attached to anything. And if you're the type of person that keeps track of your save files, like you were accustomed to manually doing that yeah, 26 you, you, years ago. So yeah, like, you, you, you have your original save file backed up yeah, somewhere. I you're hope. Good. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about it. And I still like, uh, thanks for sending us review copies all those years ago. I still, uh, when I first played Vangers, like back when I was a wee lad, didn't know what the hell it was. Played it on a modern PC with well, these guys still don't know what the hell it is. There's well, cars it's, in it's, it. it's yeah, it's higher resolution now, right? Uh, so no, well, you, you can have full 720p magnificence. <laughs> and good job on keeping the game updated, man. Yeah. It's still alive and kicking. And uh, let's talk about some other ways to launch Vangers outside of Steam. Yeah, like uh, Lutris. No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> in, 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 in the news section. mainstream. We need something more obscure. <laughs> right. Yeah. So EA. This, 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 this PC gamer article or came links to all this stuff in our show notes uh, goes through the highly scientastic scoring process of rating all of the various game launchers and stores out there uh, on a scale from zero to a hundred. What does a hundred mean? What what is the hundred percent complete game store? We don't know. They never actually define these terms. These are these are hundred percent feels scores. But he goes through. Them. Steam gets the ninety percent. Um, we got stuff like the Epic Game Store that gets like what um, Epic uh, Epic got thirty uh, percent or forty one percent. God Galaxy gets seventy seven. Xbox gets sixty five. The Microsoft Store gets twenty one. I don't know where these where these these scores are actually coming from. But a lot of the but like if, when you read through the the shtick, uh, a lot I of don't know, man. We're looking to, at the Epic Epic Store here. Pros, free games, cons, everything else. Everything else. <laughs> score, score, forty one percent. Seems legit. Like, <laughs> like uh, what, 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 the, what the fuck does that mean? Um, but uh, so uh, it reviews a lot of the the features and the games available, and a lot of the complaints are, hey, if your game isn't on, if if it, like you play only has Ubisoft games, surprise, mm-hmm. you're only going to be able to launch them because that's the only ones that are available here. Same thing with uh, EA Play and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, but like. Over the, over the, but like, uh, again, it all comes back to comparing it to Valve, the 2000 ton elephant in the room. Damn. And like, like, er, <laughs> question mark, Microsoft store. <laughs> you, you accidentally ended up here. Please leave. Um, but yeah, v- Valve has done a decent job of maintaining what works about like, I want to use that as a for store. performance review now. <laughs> er. uh, while still adding like useful features and they're, they fucked up plenty. But I don't think they've ever interrupted the core functionality of being able to like buy and play your games. And that's a, a lot. A lot of these stores don't even do that. Right. Like, I mean, they need to put that on the front page of EA marginally better than Origin, marginally better. You know what? <laughs> well, but that, but that was the same thing. Never with, uh, very good. That's it a little fucking on you. Yeah. <laughs> they, they put the same thing with Ubisoft Connect. It's better than you play. Right? Like, <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> but 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 again, like the uh, high, highly scientific scoring process. I, I, I don't know. It, again, Steam is just the best, not because of they're they're just doing doing the bare minimum and they're doing it well. I and like uh, we did. Uh, if you keep scrolling all the way down, like Jordan says, this will be in the show notes if you want to go read it yourself. Uh, we, we get down to like itch.io where we like to remind everybody itch.io has a Linux client that we all just memory hole for some reason. Because every time I saw, I was like, "Doesn't they? Of course they do." Have I downloaded it? No. Am I part of the problem? Yes. Um, we should like do an episode where we get all the Linux launchers, like Lutris and Hero, oh, yeah. and just <laughs> arbitrarily <laughs> throw some numbers and hot takes at them. <laughs> Her- Her- heroic v bottles, v Lutris, v yeah. play, play on, on Linux. Linux. Yeah, wine yeah, trays. Yeah, yeah. yeah and. It- and like we 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 get we get some toddlers and we grease them up and we have them like fight each other and whoever we we like stick we put like a post a note of like Lutris and Heroic and whoever wins actually wins. That, I think I think that is a more that is a more robust process than what PC Gamer has gone through right here. So 
Uh, Look, I'll just say the word fiddly gets thrown around a lot to describe God Galaxy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it, it, it's, um, I still want Galaxy on Linux. I do. But that word getting thrown around that much. Love it. Uh, the <laughs> Ubisoft and EA don't really give a shit about their launcher and neither does Epic, to be fair. Uh, they just needed somewhere to put their thing so that they, they could claim that they were trying to do competition without actually putting the minimum amount of effort necessary to compete. Yeah, I don't think they tried very hard at that page. Right? They're like, fuck you, give us money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's like, we, well, we don't actually want quartz. to compete. We just want money. <laughs> yeah, bu- buy quartz. Yeah. <laughs> whatever i don't trust quartz uh <laughs> the only one i've ever really played around with uh outside of like let's see what was our first launcher here on uh linux desura yeah desura you could build desura, the open source desurium desurium steam and, and steam came out and yeah. that, that's really been it in my life you know last week we were talking like i'm kind of excited about the uh woogle coming out, bringing that play button to all the other launchers, Lutris and the likes, just because like that's going to incentivize me to get over there and like, all right, I'm going to check out all these other libraries because we haven't had, you know, Epic. We haven't had GOG, you know, before Steam. Like, Steam wasn't even in the picture, guys. It wasn't even in our dream. It wasn't on our fucking wish list. It was such an abstract idea. We were pining for GOG Galaxy, all right? We're like, make a GOG launcher and that will be awesome. We will be pleased with it. I'm still there. I'm still there. I, I still want... In gog launcher and like at this point you're just doing it to be mean even though like what pedro says fiddly fiddly is the word you say about the gog when you're being nice you know well i i mean they still haven't updated their linux binary upload process beyond email gog yeah. and attach a copy yeah. of your game and they'll Don't update the store form. and you know the origin client the, the the one that comes like when you buy a, or have an ubisoft game and it does that like little launch thing like the thing's junk you know, it's just added overhead that you got to go in and like disable all the data hoovering and the overlays and crap like that on every single game. How, yeah. And then how, I was going to say that's the only one I've tangoed with until I remember Jedi Survivor had the EA launcher, oh. which was adorable because it, uh, the way it worked with XFCE is like all the little individual UI elements spawned as individual windows. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Did, did that, did that in uh, gnome too. Um, yeah, I've I've done I've done you uh you play or Ubisoft Connect from Assassin's Creed, mm-hmm. and I've 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 played a bunch of the free games on the Epic Game Store. The the Epic Game Store one isn't like awful by any by any stretch of the imagination, but like it's still a necessary overhead and like doesn't provide things like Steam Overlay or like easy ways to connect to your friends or being able to purchase more than one game at a time <laughs> or stuff like that. Right? Actually, it introduces another overlay which you find out because. You hit two keys at once, and you go, "Oh God, what the fuck is that?" <laughs> yeah, we, we we just we just pretend that doesn't exist. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, we we have Steam overlay at home. This is why you need to get rid of Windows and come over to Linux. We got you know less confusion, less choices. Just yes. install Steam, deal with it, have a good time, and uh, for everything else, there's everything out. There's Woogle. You can for you everything Google. else. There's wine which is the thing that uh, is at very much at the core of the popularity of the steam deck and uh, one of the uh organizations working to uh in better proton and wine itself obviously is collabora in vegan yes it's a perfect it's a perfect like romulan word <laughs> i i don't know romulan words like you <laughs> kapla <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, this one comes from uh, Calabra, and it's very much their um, sort of look back, very high level, very quick look back at 2023 as uh, the as the development they've done for Wine specifically. And what they've been working on is the Whalen driver, and it's, it's there. We talked about it when uh, Wine 9 came out last week or the week before. And they have basic window management, software rendering, mouse support, keyboard support, including proper key map handling. Finally, that was something that even uh, old wine in X had trouble with. People with Portuguese keyboard layouts. Uh, Vulkan, including uh, Direct3D, using VKD3D or the XVK, basic support for high DPI, which, you know, fair enough 
4K screens and whatnot. Uh, they're still going to, they still have some stuff left that they're working on in 2024. They say that there's going to be OpenGL support, which kind of surprised me that it wasn't there to start with. <laughs> Well, and, and that's the other thing, too, with, with uh, Vulcan support, like, ah, well, you know, it runs through Zinc, so who the fuck cares, right? Yeah. <laughs> also, but, also yeah, all, no. all, those, all those Windows OpenGL applications, so many of them. And also the native, being able to handle native OpenGL for display purposes makes sense. And uh, there's more window management, uh, clipboard drag and drop. That's 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 the big one. Like every, 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 everyone wants that shit for um for like just your applications in Wayland. Yeah, in for general, being able right? to dudes. Click. People would be so happy if like you could get that <laughs> and just have the paranoid security toggle switch for Wayland. Because there's a lot of security in fucking Wayland that makes sense on mobile. Don't make sense on fucking desktop. Mm-hmm. I'm on a desktop. I want to be able to do stuff. Need more portals, but uh, but like uh, it's it's good to see that this is out, and like now that it is released, and even even though it's hidden behind a flag for the most part, people are going to start using it, and that's going to start identifying bugs. They're going to get squished, and now that people are actually using it, and now that the foundation is being laid, uh, there's going to be a lot more features coming out a lot faster because we don't have to wait. Because now now that this is like in wine, we don't have to have this entirely separate wine on Wayland branch. Where everything has to live in its own little isolated realm, it is all all together. And I do like the impact of because all of the Proton games that you're running, say on the Steam Deck, uh, uh, you're running technically X Wayland because they don't natively support the Wayland compositor game scope that it's running. So I wonder what impact that's actually having on performance and battery life, and if this is going to make a huge difference, which would be really nice to see. It's it it sounds like a good idea and it sounds like it could bring further improvements from just the software efficiency. So I, I I'm curious. <laughs> I I'm looking around here, man. So I, I want to share everybody a little something. Which is gonna be a YouTube ad because I'm not logged into my premium account. Hang on a second. Doop, 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 doop. Skip. <laughs> All right. Uh this this is absolute nightmare fuel, everybody. Strider posted this in our Discord uh, <laughs> earlier this week. And if you're looking at that, and you're like, hey, doesn't that blue hair? Hey, they're ripping off. Uh, is this Mario 64 version of Celeste? Yes, it is. This is Celeste 64. I loved Celeste. It is. It is just, mm, I, just a fuck you hard puzzle platformer like this made me so happy. So I was very excited to see. They did this as like a little internal game gem. This is from the Celeste developers. I'm like, hey, we're going to put this together. We're going to make it open source and uh, make it available for Linux. You can download it on itch. There'll be links in the show notes if you want to go try it out. Solid port. Technically, everything's there. Picked up my x controller right out of the box. Sound work. Full screen windowed. Everything you would expect for this cursed ass game. Oh, that camera is not your friend. Oh, it's, it's like some evil Dark Souls cursed. camera shit. Yeah. All of it. Like every last little pixel of this game is just cursed all the way down. Um, everything. I, I knew that YouTube video existed. In my previously watched, because I had to watch it, figure out how to get out of like the first three steps to climb the wall. I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? I don't right. understand. Shoulder, and, shoulder buttons. Yeah. <laughs> I, my brain could not grok it. But I mean, if you want to get on it, man, like there's a GitHub repo and go build it. Uh, or if you just want to download it, it's available on Itch. It's right there. You can get your N64 goodness. It's available on Linux. Windows, more Linux. Uh, why do we have two Linuxes here? Oh, there's a new okay. version out. Yeah. One oh one. And uh, when, when do you think we're going to start seeing speed runs for this? Uh, that was what that video was. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was ah, the any percent thirty eight four, day, four, four days ago. All right. That, fair that's enough. the only thing you're going to see of this. What are you talking about? It's Celeste, man. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. You got to get those. It, it was very much a game catering to that um, crowd. It was, it was fun. It was, you know, it had yeah. the, it had the speed run option, but it had a story, mm-hmm. like, and it let you fail. For me, the thing that got me was whatever you failed, because yes, it is a, it's a precision puzzle platformer. You will fail. Uh, mm-hmm. it lets you fail quickly and you were right back on it. Like, mm-hmm. bam, 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 bam. Yeah. I love that, 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 that specific, like being able to, okay, you failed, but that's okay. You're right back in it. Love it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, anything we're, that we're, makes, we're, punishes you, but makes you go, you know, you're like, ow, 
Mm. Well, it, 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 it's like it's like um, the, 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 the it's still punishment, but the punishment is very minor, right? Like it's not it's not inconvenience where you have to go all the fucking way back to the, the beginning of the level, which it's a fail state, yeah. but it's not an inconvenience. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's good. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I mean, you're, you're dealing you're, with you're screens. Puni- yeah, your, your, your punishment is not being able to progress the story, not having to do the same thing over and over and over again, which is a good way of going about it. Yeah. I mean, it's a, if you haven't played Celeste and like that type of game, um, there's just so many times, like I got to the point too, where I'm like, I got to tap out. And th- there's, there's a shit ton of accessibility options too. And mm-hmm. they're like very, they're very out of the way. So like you can turn on invincibility and I found myself doing that. And I'm like, okay. And, and, and I bounced to the other side. I'm like, okay, but I could do this now that, yeah. now that I see how the movement yeah. goes, let, let me, let me go back and you, you've yeah. cheated yourself there. You're like, I yeah. want, I, I want, I want the feels of getting through that myself. Yeah, and even then, like the accessibility tools, they don't stop. They don't like give you the easy mode. You still have to like do the thing. Right. But again, it, it gives you it gives you more of a gives you more of a buffer. And like, yeah, because for me, for precision platformers, the big the big thing is like not being able to practice that one jump. If I'm having trouble with this one segment of the game, I would like to be able to repeat it over and over and over again until I can get it, as opposed to and like having to. With this being open source, we're only like maybe a week or two away mm-hmm. from dual wielding Gatlin guns with a jetpack fighting a life-size kaiju version of Antonio Banderas. Well, where's where's the VR version? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First person VR version of this. Nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> We hey, maybe you want to tell us about a project you're working on. We'd love to get you on the show. We we always have that open invite, man. If you're working on a game art, if you're working on the wines and you know the back end stuff, you're who we want to talk to. How can you let us know you, you exist? Because we might not know. Head over to LinuxGameCast.com, smash that contact button, pick the right topic. Like, hey, we go one just called Let's Talk. Figure it out. Type it in. Be like, hey, man, I want to come. You know, do a little plug. I'm like, yes, let's talk tech. Love to have you. Or, or maybe you just got some hot takes and something we said. Maybe we got something wrong on the internet. Or you want to share the results of some advice one of the team members <laughs> might have given out. Chemistry. LinuxGameCast.com. <laughs> Hit the contact button. Leave a YouTube comment. If you're one of our beautiful party patrons, one of those delightful monsters, just leave a comment on the video. But don't worry about it. That's going to be on the show. Guaranteed, everybody else. You know, we might read it. We'll we'll probably read it. But we're gonna, we'll definitely we're gonna... show it if it's about baking soda. <laughs> oh man, yeah. So th- this this one is from Scythe Owl, and they say Pedro Walter White Mateus. <laughs> In last week's pre-show, you recommended baking soda as an effective toilet cleaner. Well, I put your advice to the test, and sure enough, it worked. Until an hour later, while cleaning the kitchen, I found some expired vinegar and poured its contents down the drain. Somewhere deep in the plumbing, a chemical reaction took place. A violent one. There was a rumbling from the bathroom. I raced down, swung open the door, and beheld an apocalyptic sight. A frothy brown geyser shot up from the commode, struck the ceiling, and rained liquid horror everywhere. Pedro, what were you thinking? Why didn't you preemptively warn me this would happen? Are you just evil? Yes, but <laughs> I oh, never. Wait, I, I was actually... gonna roll the credits. You got more than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> Sopranos cut to black. Yes, <laughs> I never actually considered that. Uh, after watch uh, washing your toilet with um, baking soda, which a lot of people do, because Pedro, as it turns out, it's very you're effective. You're in the clear. It's what's expired vinegar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you're dumping expired, you immediately afterwards dump expired vinegar before you've thrown enough water at the problem to basically just diffuse the uh, the baking so, soda altogether. So, so, so I, 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 I have some more useful advice. If your toilet is clogged, what you can do is you can shove a bunch of Mentos down there and chase that <laughs> with some diet soda. And uh, and that, that'll that'll really clear out your pipes. But you can only do it once, so make sure you're recording. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I couldn't possibly have warned anyone about uh, following up baking soda down the drain with vinegar down the drain because I didn't think anyone would do it. <laughs> so, so the important thing is, are you going to go and clean up Sithal's bathroom, Pedro, since this no, is your fault? No, what you need to do is stand outside the house with a boombox playing chocolate raid. <laughs> Like a good, supportful, 
Look, it's not my fault that people put the aluminum foil on their iPhones and then put them in the microwave in order to change them from the iPhone what 3 black you, to white. This is why it is important to cover your loo with cellophane. Clear. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, absolutely. You just completely, just completely wrap up your toilet in saran wrap so that no one can get at it. <laughs> then you can do baking soda and vinegar uh, pipe enemas all day in, all day out. It's brilliant. It's magical. Uh, so also, don't, don't, don't flush don't, your don't. entire case or carton of uh, baking soda down the toilet. Or, 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 or how about this? Be careful when you're dumping chemicals in the same place. Because this could have been ammonia and bleach in another in another world, and all of a sudden you got fucking chlorine gas. Come yeah, chlorine gas. Yeah. See, that, that, that's like all self correcting, and that we wouldn't have gotten that message. <laughs> it, 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 would, it would have been worse. It would have been spelled a lot worse. Let's just put it that way. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for tonight. Let's cue the music. You can always find us right here on Twitch, right here on YouTube, and wherever some bootleg streams are out there. We're doing it at 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time, right here in your face. If you're Death Note or above, come hop in the pre-pre-super shows. And how do you do that? You get in our Discord. How do you do that? You become a Patreon. And you link it up and come say hi. And we'll be there. And uh, we've got a video version if you're an executive producer or higher. Yeah, it's a thing. But if you want to get a hold of me, I'm easy to find. I'm all over the internet. Just Vin. Search for Vin. It usually shows up as Stone or Wine. Take your pick. But I'm Vin Stone over on the Zitters. I am uh, at Vin on our Mastodon, mast.linuxteamcast.com, and I'm just the Vin. Just Vin on the blue skies. I'm Jordan. I'm your trench warfare baby. You can gas me on Twitter at the Burning Fool or... Wow, that, that, that took a turn. <laughs> um, yeah, Frojo on mass.linuxgamecast.com, Frojo at bsky.app. I'm going to shut my goddamn mouth, Pedro. You, you tell him where to find you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, trench warfare, baby. <laughs> well, uh, if you'd like to get away from whatever the hell that T-W-B. was, follow me on Mastodon. It's unaccounted for with the actual number for at mass.linuxgamecast.com. <laughs> Now you see, well, this is the show where I don't argue with fucking YouTube, but it's like not suitable for advertisers. I'm like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Listen, yeah. we, we, we earned that not suitable for advertisers. Thank you very much. We the, work very hard for it. We better fucking get it. Time for some credits. <laughs> Fire in the Taco Bell. <laughs> Something else. Baking uh, soda and vinegar in the Taco Bell. <laughs> Well, it's 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 the end of the show. We made it. We're sorry. We got to thank our advisors, Omega, Arthur, and our executive producers, At- Barbara, Am- Scott Michaud, Tom McCass, Mike G, Drummer, Tomaj, Akeem, David Ishep, Ian Haplo, and Kerr Ducky, and our little Nikki fans, Super Desto, Empty, and Eggy. And the Sea Monsters with Noah Ryder X, Mac, and a Trudgy Verita, the Justin Darkwing System, T, Dancing Jerry, the Krasny, and Ogie One, and Death Notes, Nava Chad, Romeo, Kim, I skipped the line. Renee, Leonardo, Kim, Chris, Steve, and Jill. Doom 2, not one. Benjamin. I can't read anymore. Uh, back <laughs> Jalo and Piper. I All of our fine upstanding cannibals. Carl, Mike, or Theory, Linux, New World is Knuckles, John, Eshep, Gamertron, you know it, DS and Joe, Aromatic Dev, Kai Jorai. Go back here, too. We got an Amazon wish list, each and every one of us. If you want to pick us up something for the show, we can. Uh, Hold presents. it in front of the camera and be like, what the hell? Yeah, it's awesome getting surprise presents. You can do that. Head over to Linux yes. Teamcast is under support. Send us in a note so we can read it on air. We got PayPal, we got a store, and all, all the other stuff. It's under the support button. Hook us up if you got some jingle jingle laying around the house. We would appreciate it. Till next week, everybody. Identify. Bye. <laughs> Trench warfare, baby. <laughs> Trench- <laughs> well, so, so. I mean, it's not often people jump off a cliff with a shovel. Five dudes.